In this video, we will learn how you can automatically send WhatsApp message from Notion database. So assume that you are adding your customer's data into the Notion software and you also have to send the WhatsApp message to all your customers. Now you have two choices. Either you can copy the details of your customers, compose a message here in the WhatsApp and then send it to each customer one by one or you can create an automation in between Notion and WhatsApp in such a way that whenever the customer's data is added into this software, the messages will get sent automatically to each customer one by one without doing anything manually. Yes, it is possible. You just need to add the customer's data here and the messages will get sent automatically. You just need to build a connection in between Notion and WhatsApp. So if you also want to learn that how you can and create this automation for yourself come with me and I will show you the process step by step so the idea here is I want to send an invitation message on WhatsApp to each of my client and I'm going to add the data of my client here and the messages will get sent automatically on their WhatsApp something like this. Okay, so the name will replace automatically and this message will get sent automatically. But for that, I will have to connect a notion and WhatsApp with the help of Pabli Connect. It is an integration and automation software. You can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link in my description box for your reference and if you are a new user of Pabli Connect, you will have to sign up for free. I am already an existing user of Pabli Connect, that is why I am clicking on sign in and let me tell you in the free account of Pabli Connect, you will also get free tasks to test these kinds of amazing automation and uh, after reaching out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, now you will have to click on this blue button create workflow and from here exactly, we are going going to start creating our automation our workflow so just provide a random name to your automation i am providing the name as send whatsapp messages automatically from notion now click on create and you will actually find two boxes in front of you and those are trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this when this happens do this understand with an example also that whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail application well, according to our use case, whenever the data is added into the Notion software, automatically send the messages via WhatsApp. And here for sending the WhatsApp messages, I am going to use WhatsApp Cloud API application. Well, I will tell you about this application later. But the idea here is we need to always select the applications in which we are setting up an automation. And in this case, we are sending, we are actually building the automation in between Notion and and WhatsApp so that is why the first application the trigger application here will be the notion and I want that whenever I'm adding a new database item into the notion this automation should trigger so that is why the trigger event will be the same now click on connect and we are actually connecting notion account with the public connect so that the data of notion can be captured here in public connect first and then we are going to send the same data to different application or to the WhatsApp now click on add new connection click on connect with notion and provide the access of your software your account well i am already logged into the notion software in some different app so it is not asking me for the access finally give the permission to all the pages all right i have also provided the same and make sure you provide the full access and don't worry public connect is 100 percent safe now you can see the authorization is successful and notion is connected with Pabli Connect and whatever the databases are available into this particular Notion account here you can see all of them are actually visible into my uh, Pabli Connect software you can see and here I am going to select which one well I have already created one all customers list or you can say all clients list okay coming back here I'm going to select the same and finally you will have to click on this button and you will see the most recent data you have added to this particular database will be captured here in the public connect well in this case I have just a single data here so I'm going to click on this button and you will see the same detail will be captured here and yes the response has been received immediately and let us check whether the details are the same or not so where are the details 
all right and here you can see the phone number has been captured well i have just added a dummy number here just to show you how things can be captured but don't worry while sending the actual message i will actually replace this number with the genuine number all right so coming back here and let us check other details so here we have the email address admin at the rate pablitudes.com okay admin at the rate pablitudes.com checking for other details where is the name of the person all right here is the name dummy customer and dummy customer so this is how the first step of our automation is actually done which was connecting notion software with pabli connect and capturing the same data here so that we can actually send the messages send the whatsapp messages to the same person with the help of pabli connect so now i am going to choose whatsapp cloud api as the second application because i want to send the messages using this particular application and you cannot directly send the whatsapp messages via whatsapp only you'll have to make use of any particular software and whatsapp cloud api is the official api of whatsapp which facebook has launched and in the trigger event i'm going to select the send template message and i'll tell you about the send template message later finally we are going to connect whatsapp cloud api account with the pabli connect okay so go with add new connection and it will ask you few details the token phone number id and whatsapp business account id so firstly i will take you directly to the whatsapp cloud api account so firstly you will have to type developers.facebook.com in your browser and you will have to create an account in the meta website it is actually the facebook only now i am already i have already created my account into this website so i am clicking on my apps directly now the very first thing you will have to do after creating an account is create an app and generate a permanent token i am repeating this again you will have to create an app and generate permanent token if you're not sure how you can actually create an app and generate a permanent token well i have already attached the separate videos on these two things you can watch those videos create an app generate a permanent token and then come back here okay so after creating an app you will also find your application here you can see i have created this my connect message app i am going to select the same all right and here in the left hand side you will find an option of whatsapp you will have to click on that now click on getting started and here exactly you will find all those things which were actually required for the connection okay the first thing it was asking for the token well you will have to use the permanent token but in this particular video i am just using this temporary token only which will expire in 23 hours but again make sure i am just doing it for the testing purpose but if you are actually sending the actual messages the genuine messages make sure you use of permanent token you can actually visit this link as well now the phone number id here you can see i'm going to copy and paste to the same and the last thing is the whatsapp business account id so i have copied all the things pasted it here click on save and this is how you can also connect your whatsapp cloud api with the pabli connect okay whatsapp cloud api account with the pabli connect and here you can see whatever the templates are available into my whatsapp cloud api account have started visible here well templates are nothing but a kind of messages which you'll have to create in the whatsapp cloud api account as a template message okay and once your template is created you will have to submit it for the approval if your template is approved then only you can actually initiate the conversation with your customers by sending those template messages that is why our trigger event was send template message so let me first take you to the template section of whatsapp cloud api so under the step 2 option you will find an hyperlink so you will have to click on this link click here okay i have clicked here and here you can see several message templates i have created well it is not loading it has not loaded yet all right okay here is the message template section these are the template names the languages and the status and here you can see when i have submitted them for the review few of them are actually active and few of them are even got rejected okay so firstly you will have to create a message template submit it for the approval if your message template is approved you can actually send the messages so let me show you my template which i have created okay it was something like wedding invitation because here i have taken an example of sending the invitation sending the wedding invitations to the clients to the customers okay so here you can 
can see I have a message template. Okay, well, I have this message template that that is wedding in white, which is actually in the review. I have submitted it for the approval. Okay, so firstly, I'll show you this message template. Here is the template name. Here is the language which I have selected. Here is the header. Well, in header, I have selected the image because I want this image to be appear. And in the right hand side, you can preview your message. And in place of message, if you want in place of image, if you want to attach the video, the document, even the text, you can also select the same in your message. Now here is the body content, basically the message which you would like to compose. Okay. And here you can see I have added this variable into my message template. What is this variable? Well, if you want to change any value at the time of automation, you will have to keep it in the form of variable and you can add as many variables as you want in your message templates uh, you will actually find the option of adding variable here also uh, when you are going to create the template you can actually see that particular options okay and in this particular uh, message template I have added just a single variable here you can see because I just want the name of the client to be changed and the rest of the message will remain same so I have added just a single variable all right so this is how you can create your message template you can attach the header in case you want to attach any footer any button you can also do the same but in this particular automation i have not added anything if you also want to learn how you can add the buttons you can visit our channel pably and you will actually find very relevant and nice videos related to that okay for now i am going to close it uh, because i cannot use this message template because it is still in the review mode let me even show you here you can see it is still in the review mode how about i refresh it first once again and check whether it has approved or not yet all right okay going to search for the same wedding invitation all right well it is in the still uh, review mode so how about i go with this particular message template invitation wedding you can see it is active okay so i have this message hello roger Binney. marriage means a new beautiful uh beginning all right this is the image this is the variable well this image is actually not relevant but don't worry we are here just to understand how things can be done and here we have three variables what are those we have the two three and four and these are actually the date the time and the place so as i have just told you if you want to add more variables you can actually do the same so firstly i'm going to copy the name of this particular template and here i am going to search for the same okay so here you can see invitation wedding is the name of my message template now it is asking for the language code and select template id keep them as it is finally for the phone number and what are these things where well, these are the variables which i have added into my message template here let me show you i have one two three four i have four variables so that is why body field one two three and here we have the fourth body field okay so these are the same variables and this is the header image you are of which will appear here okay so let us create this message by filling out these details firstly it is asking for the recipient mobile number i don't need to manually copy this data which i have received from the above step and paste it here when you will click on this particular field you will find the same data here in the drop down even read the instructions insert data from the previous step so i am going to search for the number while well, we have the number as this for now in front of you i am adding this dummy number only but don't worry i will replace this number not as asking for the image url well here i am going to upload a very nice image that is actually related to the uh, wedding only so how about we add this particular image along with our template okay so this is the message which i am going to send to all my clients for the invitation purpose okay i'm going to attach it with my message now it is asking for rest of the details so so let us map them one by one firstly it is asking for the name so how about i map the name here all right the second thing it is asking for the date time and the venue well i have not specified these details into my notion database because these uh, details will remain same these are not going to change so you can even add these details manually so how about i add the invitation date as the 10th december all right i'm adding this value manually and i have mapped this value and what is the difference 
in between mapping and adding the value ma manually well whatever the details you will add here manually will remain same every time the message will get sent and if you have mapped any values these values will automatically change as soon as the automation is going to work okay so what will happen the next time whenever i'm going to add the new data here the same data first will be captured here into the public connect and this data will replace these existing values and this is how the mapping will take place this is how the automation will take place and this is the power of automation and mapping okay for now i'm going to add Add the time okay so how about I keep the same time and the venue will be the hotel Taj okay so I have added all the details finally I am going to click on this button but firstly let me take you to the whatsapp section and how about I delete this particular chat so that I can clearly show you the how that messages will get sent okay so I have deleted the same coming back here and first of all I am going to replace this dummy number with the genuine one with my number all right well, I have replaced the number with the genuine one. Clicking on this button, save and send test request. Fingers crossed. Waiting for the response. All right. Well, you can see the response is received. Going back to my WhatsApp section. And here you can see the message is also received. Okay. So, hello, dummy customer. Marriage means a new beautiful beginning. We would like to invite you to the witness and be a part of our new beginning. Please join us on 10 December 7, 7 p.m. at Hotel Taj as we tie, as we tie the not in holy matrimony your presence will be valuable to us regards bride and goom so this is how now onwards as soon as you are going to add the data of any person here basically the phone number basically the phone number and the client name the message will get sent automatically to each person on their whatsapp without doing anything manually you just need to build a connection in between notion and whatsapp with the help of pabli connect just once once you have created this automation inside pabli connect you do not have to do anything manually sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the backend in case you want to clone this whole setup into your account i am going to attach this shareable workflow link into my description box from where you can directly clone this whole workflow into your account that too for free you just need to sign up into the pabli connect and that is again free not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.